again. Gerald Bowman and Soma Vanuku uh, join us now. Soma, how'd that one feel, man? You hear that call? Uh, how, how'd it feel when you saw that kick go wide right? Oh, man, it was, I mean, you can't really explain something like that. <laughs> it's just like one of those things that just happens, and um, I'm just kind of happy it did. And, Gerald, are you on the field goal block team? Were you actually on the field when that was? Yes, sir. Yeah. I was, I was there. All right, and, and, and so, the, you know, just quantify the feeling, you know, after, especially of the, after the loss the, the week ago, in terms of when you saw that ball go wide right, what's the emotion? I mean, you guys were going crazy on the field. Yeah, I, I, man, I, to be honest, I really couldn't explain how I felt. <laughs> uh, but obviously, I was very happy that yeah. we came out victorious. And, uh, you know, we all, we all preached throughout the week of finishing, and I feel like that's what we did, and the outcome was a victory. Gerald, I think you're sort of new to some of the fans, and you've emerged as the second leading tackler on this team. Hayes only has you by one tackle right now. Uh, tell your story, if you can, pretty briefly, but, you know, you're a Philly guy, and you, you came all the way out here, and you, you sort of trusted yourself maybe more than coaches and other people did, and it, it seems to be paying off. Yes, sir. Uh, so, as you mentioned, uh, I'm from Philadelphia. Um, coming out of high school, I wasn't recruited from any top Division one or any major schools. Um, I had a best friend that came out here to uh, Pierce Junior College, and he pretty much, you know, told the coaches about me, and they all were excited. They saw my film, and you know, asked me to come out. Uh, at first, I, I wasn't too excited about it because I was a little discouraged of me, you know, not getting offers and stuff like that. And I, and I felt, I felt this though I was a Division one player, and I didn't want to do anything, you know, any, anything less than that. So. That was like my whole dream of going Division One and playing in the NFL and all that type of stuff. But uh, I, I wound up coming out here, and the first place I came is crazy. The first place I came to when I when I came out in LA was to the Coliseum, okay. like the very first place. And my coach said, I, "I can have you here." And literally from there, we went straight to the football field, and we just worked every day. And then eventually, you know, I came here, and you know, our, that, that just shows you that hard work pays off. And um, I, I'm very grateful for it. And so you have a little bit more of the traditional route to USC. But one thing that hasn't been traditional is your role this year, right? I mean, you're playing a little bit in the backfield as a fullback. Oftentimes it looks like you're lined up on the wing as well. I know it's a different system. How are you adjusting to it? And you know, what kind of changes has it brought, has it made you to adapt to the offense that you're in now? I mean, I'm just trying to put myself and the coaching staff in a situation where, you know, a guy goes down, you know, speak, Trey, you know, he went down. And I, I'm, I'm that guy for them and whenever they need me. And I uh, just give them that support wherever, wherever it is on the football field that need me. I'm, I'm just there. Well, one of the places that you really distinguish yourself is, is, is special teams. I watch you on kickoff coverage. I wonder, do you have to be a little bit crazy to be great at <laughs> kickoff coverage? Because you seem a little bit possessed when you're running down the field. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. It's, uh, I'm scared half the time. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, it's just one of those things where it's just like, I mean, I'm just running down and... I see that dude, and it's just last minute. It's just, I mean, I'm just running as fast as I can, and really, it's, I'm just out there just, I don't even, I, I can't explain it. I'm <laughs> telling you. It's like, Temporary insanity. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Gerald, I know your role has sort of expanded a little bit because you're a, a strong safety, and you come up and tackle like a strong safety. But even last game, you had to get involved with a lot of pass coverage, a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations. You know, how has it been to adapt to that kind of style of, of football, knowing that you're, you're, you know, your heart is at the safety position, but... Last week, you might as well have been a corner. Yeah, well, I feel as though as a defensive back, you have to be interchangeable. Um, that's that's what that what allows you know you to be successful. And you know, I've been working really hard. Uh, credit to the guys on our team, uh, the offensive guys has been pushing us and giving us a lot of work. So uh, it wasn't nothing new to me. You okay. know, I practice it. I, we we do we do it in practice all the time. So you know, I'm 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 in a position where you know I just want to help the team as much as I can. So if that's you know, changing my role, doing something for the team, then that's what I want to do to help us win. Do you feel like you need to be a steadying presence back there? I mean, you're going into a fourth quarter of an Arizona game, a huge game on the road, and you're looking to your left, and it's John Lockett who's like, okay, this is my first time playing, and then John Plattenberg who's, you know, basically his first time playing. I mean, you feel like you got to go, okay, i got to be the adult here? Absolutely. Um, as a unit, we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty tight and we're pretty close, so I just feel as though our relationship allows us to tr trust each other. Mm -hmm. Um, and we all trust, you know, our technique and, and what we learn in, in practice. So um, going out there, I was pretty confident. I, I told the guys straight up and down, you know, you guys know what you're doing. Um, I got your back. And, and then I expect you guys to have my back. And we all went out and did what we were supposed to do. You know, so I have a little bit of a bone to pick to you because you have by far the most family support 
And last game, they had rice and teriyaki chicken they brought in. And I did not even get a plate. And I saw everybody walk around with a plate. There so was I, a lot I, of good I, eating I, going I, on yeah, the bus. Exactly. I, ha I, I have to find a way to get in with the family. you got to help me with that. Just go up and tell them who you are. You know, <laughs> I mean, let me tell you, man, my family are very friendly people. Yeah, you know, are, all you man. have to do is just go up and say hi and, and just introduce yourself. And let me tell you, they'll take care of you. All right. I mean, you should have found me on the bus. I had a cooler full of chicken and a, exactly. a plate full of rice. And I was just passing the plates out to everyone. Oh, man. Did you I'm get any jail? I didn't even know that. Yeah. He was on the, oh, he was on okay. the, he's on the wrong bus. bus. <laughs> he was on the wrong bus. <laughs> my last question is, when did the bucket hat become the signature look? I can't remember the last time I saw you without a bucket hat unless you, of course, uh, wearing a helmet. Um... I say like last spring. I just mean, bucket hat season. It's just, I mean, I, I, I think I look better in a bucket hat than a regular <laughs> baseball cap. You know, it fits my big head better. <laughs> well, use the big head well. Uh, we need some team bucket hats, JJ. That's, uh, that's for next show. With the Allstate Distinguished Driver Discount, safe drivers can instantly save up to 20% on car insurance just for having a clean driving record, and that's on top of other discounts. Call Orange Allstate agent Ross G. Low today. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability, availability savings vary. We're going to take a quick break from football, talk about our national championship men's tennis team, and their leader, Yannick Hoffman, is due up next on Trojans Live.